Hi Aries, this is your weekly day by day tarot cards reading by Emma for the week beginning 23rd of May 2022. Okay, we'll start immediately with Monday the 23rd of May. This page of Wands, Tuesday, Four of Wands, Wednesday, Knight of Swords, Thursday, Ace of Cups, Friday, Eight of Cups, Saturday, King of Swords, and the Magician, Sunday. Nice. The Fool, your influencing energy, Aries. Right, Page of Wands, Monday, with the World. Nice. Four of Wands with the Wheel of Fortune. Knight of Swords, Wednesday, with the Queen of Cups. Ace of Cups, Thursday, with Eight of Swords. Now Eight of Cups on Friday with the Hierophant. King of Swords, Saturday, with the Ten of Wands. The Magician, Sunday, with Three of Swords. Lovely page of wands, perhaps energy dominant this week for you, even from earlier on. Something very new, very excited. Both of this energy are talking excitement about something that you were on already. This is new territory you are sitting on. This young lad is on this barren land, but things will begin to grow. Thinking about what you're going to add there, what you're going to make there, what you're going to plant on another side. You see what I'm saying? Beautiful moment when you took this opportunity you are standing at the very beginning planning thinking what from now being eager to do things now immediately having great optimistic feelings about your future about what you can make with this idea we, I'm actually talking somewhere last week that idea came up front optimism was all there enthusiasm and eagerness to do things waiting for the right moment to move on there's no action in here okay being filled up with energy which is ready to spread to move on anticipation of action is very present last week this energy very important for you this week as well Aries and again on Monday you do have the very same energy of page of wands visible present out there with the world energy within you understanding something has finished you completed something very successfully and this beginning actually it's actually sitting on that completion something that you have completed serves as a starting point for your further development what Whatever it is, this idea that you did have last week is not something brand new. It sits on something you have done. This is successful completion, something that you've been doing within this period of time. Now, based on that, what you completed, what you have done, you are sitting on it. That's your medium for growth and you are eager to do more, to expand, to develop in that sense of very lovely energies. You do have a rather optimistic, fresh, young energies you have for yourself Aries lovely now four of wands might actually indicate that you are pleased with the place you found yourself in it's not that we have a movement here again okay with four of wands again there's no movement but being happy with that what you have being very comfortable with yourself you're standing firmly at that starting point flat firm ground you know exactly what you're supposed to create what you're supposed to do where you are heading there is nothing here unknown confused not understood no everything is on the very flat ground you know exactly where you are where you are heading from there everything is very clear to you and things are happening very much in order that's why you are pleased with yourself you are very certain very confident things are usual for for you here according to your plans according to previous experience according to your expectations you see what i'm saying nothing much that happened or 
already, but meaning change, okay? Different plans, different expectations, different ideas, what you're going to create now. You were excited about, very comfortable with yourself, and change is there already. From now on, you are developing with something new, with this new idea, okay? It is already there. Monday, Tuesday is on the ground. Whatever that is, whatever that you're going to be doing now, maybe just only this week, or it's maybe maybe even more important long term for your life, being that we do have major arcanas, okay, the fool, um, uh, the world, okay, very much symbols of successful completion and new beginning based on that what you completed already. You see what I'm saying? Like new phase in your life. These two might actually indicate... But as I said, this is very beginning, starting point. There is no action yet. Still, you are satisfied with yourself just because it indicates change, okay? You are already in this new phase in your life, in your career or something. This is a new phase began already. Change is there. Now, this Knight of Swords with Queen of Cups. Look, Queen of Cups is you being pleased with yourself, right? What you expected, what you wanted arrived. It seems to me with this Knight of Swords, this action you've been expecting, you expected these energies to come to make some move, okay? Because as I said, there's no action here. Change, you are feeling confident and comfortable with it, okay? Perhaps you planned action for the very next day because there is action. Energies are there with the Knight of Swords. Energies of change are there. You might receive that information you've been waiting for. You might actually just start doing things, okay? That's what you wanted to do. That's what you've been eager to do. You planned totally. You were certain about. As I said, there is no confusion for you here. Action you planned and there it is. On Wednesday, your planned action or expected action doesn't need to be you doing things now on this day it could be that you expected that somebody else will do something some government um I don't know, decision is expected, some um, stock markets announcements, I don't know, whatever it is, it is something expected. You planned that this action will happen now on Wednesday. It will start, it will begin on Wednesday, movement on Wednesday, because you are very comfortable with yourself. You knew that is over, you knew that you have changed, and you are very pleased with yourself. Things are just happening as you planned and you as you expected there's nothing that surprises you here not even knight of swords you expected action on wednesday and yes there it is movement of some sort things begin to happen for you and you are pleased with it now beautiful ace of cups but this time with Eight of Swords, look, this is opportunity, lovely opportunity for something which is supposed to make you happy, okay? And I always say, uh, it can be relationship, love, friendship, um, job, career, money, whatever that is on your mind that you are expecting that should make you happy, this success, this something, this person, um, career or whatever, or money, you have opportunity to get it, okay? In that sense, your Thursday, your Ace of Cups, beautiful emotional fulfillment you are expecting. Look, um, lovely opportunity, as I said to you, on Thursday is visible, it's present there. It's for some reason you cannot immediately move towards it. You are perhaps busy with something else, okay? Very busy with something else and it's important for you to finish to do it. Maybe just that from Wednesday. Could be that you have, um, I don't know, obligations towards other people, something from earlier on. Maybe collides with your understanding of yourself, of your destiny, of your, or, or whatever, your understandings, your mind. Often we um, obstruct ourselves, okay, because we said, I will never do that. I will always be this way. You see what I'm saying? These eight swords obstructions around us, leaving us a very little space for movement, could very well be that we put it around ourselves. Could also be from people around, could also be your career, something that you promised, could be anything, but you do understand what I'm saying. These are limitations around that we accepted. Okay, I'll do it. I'll leave it to me. I can manage all of it. At the end of the day, opportunity comes. 
but you are so occupied with something else which is not even so important, which is not even something you enjoy. You see what I'm saying? You just accepted it. You did have time. Um, you liked the person. Um, I don't know, you felt charitable for whatever reason. You just accepted it. You just accepted or you made it yourself. Restrictions for some reason. And now that very thing is obstructing you. It might be stumbling block for you in pursuing this opportunity. Lovely, beautiful opportunity. You see what I'm saying? Comes up strongly for you to set yourself free. Wanna do it? Wanna make it? Free yourself first. That understanding on Thursday, Eight of Swords is expansive, always comes to say to you, now is much too much. Free yourself, otherwise you are at loss. You cannot develop, you cannot take a great opportunity which is in your life because of that. Free yourself now. In that sense, lovely Thursday, in fact, this has to pop up in your mind eventually, otherwise you will stagnate yourself, you will obstruct yourself forever. Um, in that sense, your Eight of Swords. And of course, there's Eight of Cups immediately, immediately leaving behind. I really believe these obstructions going after this cup. Eight of Cups standing behind this person, moving towards this Ninth Cup, Wish Cup. That what you are wishing for, that emotional fulfillment, that what was missing till now. And you could never achieve in this position with these people, with this career. Move moving forward, leaving behind, maybe obstructive, um, unproductive situation, but by all means, moving forward, very present here. And look, you are believing, you are so much believing in this new opportunity, in something else. This is believer. This is being faithful. This is my way being very faithful that this opportunity is great opportunity and that you can manifest with lovely hierophant energy within you, believer, knowing it almost, accepting even delays. This means that is not happening now, these days, it will happen later on, but you do believe it will happen for sure. King of Swords and Ten of Wands within you, Ten of Wands, look, uh, not this King of Swords, Libra, uh, Gemini, Aquarius person on Saturday. And then we do have this Magician uh, on a Sunday, difficult, okay, conversation, some obligations towards this person, okay. And then disappointment on, su on Sunday follows, okay, this... Um, this weekend might actually mean interaction with somebody who is very talkative. I kind of feel this is the very same person, okay? Somebody will come uh, with decision, with uh, more requests. You have difficulties with this person, okay, on Saturday, by all means. Communication, something that this person is coming up with. Could also be lawyer, but I don't think on Saturday and Sunday, okay, this is weekend, all right. Is is very person around you, within your family, maybe within this circle of friends or something like that. But this person is around you and makes something very difficult for you. This is a request from this person. This is decision. This is the best way. This is how it's going to be because I know for sure. You see what I'm saying? This one knows. Usually is very capable to make decisions, makes proper decisions. You see what I'm saying? This is quite capable intellectual, logical energy. But now this time brings lots of burden on you, okay? You are a responsible person. I kind of feel this one brings responsibility, more and more responsibility. And you are taking, okay, I can do it. Okay, I can do it. And this one is still piling on you. Okay, this, you can do this as well. And you are uh, kind of doing it because perhaps there is purpose for it. There's some sort of reward, some sort of endings, rewarding and or happy endings. Ending. You see what I'm saying? But you are definitely burdened. And I really believe this Gemini Libra Aquarius is actually causing it. And I really think you're going to be disappointed by Sunday. Um, because this is lots of talks. I kind of felt in here lots of talks and plans and everything going to be easy and like magic. And, you know, you just carry on doing these things. It's going to be just fine later. And you are disappointed because everything falls on your back. And somehow that person out there, just talks, just has plans, great plans. 
in that sense, I really feel that you might be a bit frustrated with somebody there in your environment, Saturday, Sunday, who does have these great ideas, what, sh what should be done, and you to do it. In that sense, frustration you might actually feel the whole weekend, Saturday and Sunday. I definitely feel that is the very same person, this King of Swords and the Magician. Clever one, eh? <laughs> anyway, Aries, enjoy your week.